How's it going guys? Zabby here and today we're going to be talking about what to spend your bait coins on. Now I am I am on the main account because I do have quite a few bait coins here. I got 487 and I want to show you guys there's kind of two different ways you can go about it. If you're going to end up buying DLCs in this game you will be able to eventually sell that DLC gear for good chunks of bait coins which is going to allow you to get the more expensive licenses like California and stuff. You can see here I still don't have Michigan, but I do have other places like the Everglades, etc, etc. But if you're new to this game, you don't think you're going to spend any money on it. The only things that you should ever spend your bait coins on at, at the beginning, so like I'd say probably the first 30 levels, maybe 40 levels, is you're going to want to spend them on barbless hooks and barbless um, lures and the reason why you're going to want to do that is because it's really going to help you out in terms of getting xp especially if you don't have premium every time you use barbless hooks you will get double xp for every fish you catch and that's going to help you just level up quicker and progress further in the game a lot faster now sometimes they do get off the barbless hooks a little bit easier but that's okay it's nothing to really worry about but yeah number one if you're not going to spend money on dlcs and stuff just spend a couple barb uh coins on barbless hooks now you probably could really just get away with like 10 20 30 40 50 60 maybe 70 get away with those and you probably can use those for pretty much the whole entire game and it's not really a ton but you can start off smaller like say you're just going to the first couple places uh you're going to rocky you're going to emerald you're at lone star you could go with a 10 barbless hook and use that for a while and that's only one bait coin so that's what I mean. It's this really cheap way to spend bait coins and you're going to get enough that you could definitely afford barbless hooks. Lures is the same thing. If you go to barbless spoons here. This is the barbless spoon you actually use in Emerald Lake for the walleye. This is going to give you more XP for the walleye. And again, it's only three bait coins. They're really, really good. These barbless spoons when you're trying to level up a lot faster and they're good for multiple things throughout the course of the game. So you can use them for a really, really long time. And they're relatively cheap. Now, when I went through the game, guys, what I did is I actually saved up enough bait coins. And I ended up buying this trio rod stand that you get at 42. I didn't want to wait till 45 to get it. So I ended up buying it at 42. Again, this is an example. It kind of depends on your situ situation. If you're really struggling and say you really need a rod stand or you really need something upgraded on your setup, then spend the bait coins on it. Because chances are, if you're not putting a ton of money into this game, or a decent amount of money into this game, you're not going to be able to afford the advanced licenses. Like, if we go to Michigan here, 600 bait coins is the advanced license for, for Michigan alone. You're really, it's going to take you a long, long time to save up for a place like that. So it's really hard to save for those places unless you're selling your DLC equipment along the way. So that's why I recommend to spend it on gear. Now... The other scenario is if you are buying DLC. So if we go into my inventory here, and let's say we just go to... Uh, what's the DLC thing? The Salva Star 7500 SE. Now this is the reel from the uh, Peru DLC. So you can see here, we can sell it and get 92 bait coins just like that. So if you're going to get DLCs, once you unlock those things by level, and you can afford them with in-game cash, you can go ahead and sell them, and then that way you can save up some bait coins. That only works if you're actually buying the DLC. So I just wanted to make this quick video on bait coins because I've got a couple of comments saying, what do we spend bait coins on early on? Do we save them for advanced licenses? Do we save them for this, save them for that? It really depends on what you're doing and how you're playing the game. If you're not going to spend any money on premium or you're maybe only going to buy premium once, you're only going to buy like one DLC, then save them for other things other than a ton of advanced licenses because it's just, it's really hard to save up for the really good spots. Like you, Michigan 600. We go to White Moose Lake here. It's 250. Um, I'm not even sure how much California is. Uh, I think I can check in the shop here. If we go to some of these advanced licenses and just check them out. These beginning lakes are cheap. Yeah, but you're never going to really end up fishing in these lakes too often. Which is why, like, when you get to the higher spots, like uh, Louisiana, 500 Bitcoins. Michigan, 600. California, 800. Alaska, 1,000. You get to the really good endgame places. Like Weeding Willow, 1,700. Blue Crab, 2,000. Peru, 2,000. You're never going to save up. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say never, but it's going to take you so long to save up 2,000 bait coins if you're not buying DLC that you're honestly probably never going to actually get the advanced license for any of those really endgame places. So you might as well just spend them on other stuff. 
Now you can, if you really like a certain spot, of course buy an advanced license, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm just saying if you're not going to buy DLC very often or you're going to buy one DLC, it's probably best to just spend it on gear to help you get to the end game faster. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tips video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Ring the bell so you don't miss a single video. Check out the description for links to my other social media platforms like Twitch where I stream five days a week. Come hang out live. It's a lot of fun. Also, make sure to come type a comment. Tell me to catch more fish or whatever you guys want. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one.